Hi, I'm Koshal Patel with Ask Your Girls. We all know that aging, it's a part of life and it's not easy. Let's face it, no one really wants to get older, especially women like me. One of the top innovators in functional medicine, Dr. Melinda Silva, she is a wealth of knowledge. She joins us today to give us some great information. Dr. Silva, you always look stunning yes, as you. always. So how do you do it and how can we all do it? How can we age gracefully? Well, you know, it's all about balance, right? It's about making sure that your body can optimize and heal on its own. I do not like to use prescription drugs. Um, doing the wellness medicine, my paradigm is really trying to help my body heal itself naturally. So what does that mean? For all of us, that means what we've known all along, that we need good sleep, good nutrition, good exercise, which means good sex. You know, I tell women, just because you get older, mm -hmm. Don't forget about that part because a lot of women lose intimacy for a lot of different reasons. And, you know, juggling motherhood and juggling careers and just looking out for everybody else except for yourself. So this is about self-love. This is about really doing what's important in your life so that you can be better for the people that you care about. Because we, we take care of others, you know, women do that. We're such so, nurturers. Yes, yeah, so I just want to remind women to take care of yourself, right? Mm -hmm. To keep that in mind so that you can be better. And what, what are some, some things that we can do to age well in, you know, women, mm -hmm. small things that women can start doing in their 30s, 40s, and 50s? Okay, so the first thing that I want to make sure people remember is that they don't call it beauty sleep for nothing, right? Mm -hmm. I used to think, being a doctor, I used to think, you know, burning the midnight oil made me like a really good doctor, right? Because I didn't yeah. sleep very much. Right. But no, I realized that you're making your hormones at night when you get that REM sleep, the, mm -hmm. the, the deep sleep. So if you don't have as much of that, you're just not going to optimize your own hormones. Your body's not going to optimize hormones. So sleeping well meaning not um, having, not just quantity, but quality of sleep. Really, seven hours is magical. Mm -hmm. If you could get seven hours, that, you know, that's amazing. But it's really important to have a good sleep routine. So this is what everybody could do, is just to make sure to unplug, right? Mm -hmm. To have a routine that keeps you in a, in a relaxed state. So not watching anything either disturbing or exciting, mm -hmm. right? Trying to either take a bath or meditate, drinking warm tea, whatever it is that's going to relax you mm -hmm. and tell your body it's time for sleep. And when you go to bed, it's only sex or sleep. Mm -hmm. So if you can't sleep... Those are some great options. Yes, I'll take either one of those. It. <laughs> if you can't, if, you're, if your body's not really ready for sleep, don't just lay there. Get okay, up. but I want some more secrets, though. Yeah. What, what else, aside from sleep? Please. Well, my favorite for the getting rid of the wrinkles, two things. Okay. That is what a must they? for women. <laughs> okay. That you have to have. Okay. And that's Retin-A and yes. sunscreen. Sunscreen. If okay. you do the Retin-A and sunscreen, mm -hmm. and you drink plenty of water. And sleep and sex. sex. Right. <laughs> Don't but the Retin-A and sunscreen... <laughs> No, I'm, I'm serious because that will help minimize not only wrinkles, but mm -hmm. also the spots. Because the Retin-A also helps brighten the skin, not right. only for wrinkle protection, but also the sunscreen can help keep you from aging. You know, we're lucky because we have darker skin. Mm -hmm. And with our darker skin, we don't show the wrinkles as much. But the other thing is, is that if you don't get enough vitamin D, then for us having darker skin, because we don't, our, our skins can't, skin can't synthesize the vitamin D, then what that means is that we have to stay out longer, which means we get more wrinkles. So I always make sure yeah, people like with darker skin catch, have catch vitamin, get the vitamin D, make sure you have plenty of hydration, because that will show, if, you're, if you have more hydration, your skin's more plump. Right. So people that don't drink enough water, they're just going to be more wrinkly. And that's like a secret that most women don't even don't even do. That's so simple. Yeah, water, so, hydration. water, hydration. So some of the so. things; those are all really good reminders. But are any breakthroughs in anti-aging right now well, that you can share? Yes, and I really like the peptides. 
the growth factors and peptides, you can not only put them on your skin, but can, you can also take them as atrocious and oral. Mm -hmm. And it's really good because the peptides will increase your growth hormone naturally. Now, is that and a prescription? It yes, it's only by prescription. You have to get it from a doctor like myself because we want to make sure that you're healthy, right? We don't want people taking peptides that they're not sure what they're for. But they have peptides for healing, for aging, for your brain function. Yeah. And they're, it's just amino acids that are customized. Like we have a peptide that helps with um, anti-obesity uh, drug. It's actually FDA approved. Mm -hmm. to reduce your, um, your risk of obesity. And that's a customized growth hormone that is just amino acids. Mm -hmm. And you can, and it's very safe to take. So it's safe and it's effective and it's, and, and it's not harsh on your body, you know, in terms of it's easy to take as well. Mm -hmm. And that will help release fat cells, increase metabolism, and an easy way to, to help your body slow down the aging process mm. and it's good for your skin sign me yeah. up yeah. peptides you can yeah. take orally right now, so you, you did take you did say growth hormone now i know hormones have gotten a bad rap mm -hmm. do women need to take hormones and why have they gotten the bad rap well if you want to have your body optimized functionally yes i tell people you can buy a brand new car right mm -hmm. and it requires a car that requires gasoline if you don't put the gasoline in the car, then it's not going to run. Is it bad to put the gasoline in the car? No, not if you want it to run. The gasoline for a car, it's like hormones for our body. As we get older, our body makes less hormone. So we might have just enough hormone for work, for example, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're depleted. And then you just, you know, you don't do any of the fun stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But we're talking about quality of life. So if you want other things, if you want to optimize your life and be able to be more active and exercise and, and go out and, and just enjoy life, then you might need more hormone supplementation. It's Why do also, they get a bad rap, though? Well, because the synthetic hormones have been used um, in the past and has been shown to cause cancer and heart disease and stroke. The good news is there's a different choice. I don't do the synthetic hormones. I use the bioidentical hormones, and so those are plant-based hormones. Mm. They're made from plant, and they're made to look identical to the hormones your body makes. So you won't increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, or breast cancer, and it's safe, and it's an alternative that's available. So why do you even go for the synthetic hormones? If it's there's education. a choice, it's right? Education. It's just right. about education. Knowledge and education. And I tell you, I tell my patients, don't blame your doctor because your doctor doesn't know about it. You mm -hmm. just have to seek that information for yourself right. because you know what you know, but unfortunately, you don't know what you don't know. And so they clumped all the hormones together because it is a true statement that the synthetic hormones can increase breast cancer. So people are afraid to take it. The bioidentical horm hormones are not in that category, mm -hmm. but they don't know that because they don't have the training about it. So they just say a hormone is a hormone, which is not a true statement. And moving on from hormones, like testosterone, do, do women need testosterone? That sounds kind of like, you know, counterproductive, women, testosterone, but they do. Right, so, all of, so both men and women have the same cascade of hormones. And what makes man a man is that 90% of the testosterone stays as testosterone and 10% go to estrogen. But for women, 10% stay as testosterone and 90% go as estrogen. But you need that testosterone for function. Mm -hmm. It's there's testosterone receptors on the brain. Mm -hmm. So it actually helps reduce the risk of dementia. There's testosterone reception on, on the lean muscle. Mm -hmm. So women, as we get older, if we lose testosterone in our muscle mass, mm -hmm. then what ends up happening is it gets flaccid. Right. And then you don't make as much muscle as well. And then you get fat redistribution and you have more fat around the belly. So those things are important. So it's a, it's a myth that women don't need testosterone. One of my favorite reasons besides libido, right? Because people think, well, you know, it's a true statement. When libido um, goes down because testosterone levels go down. But one of my favorite reasons is to keep your bones stronger. So the reason why, if you look in a nursing home, nine times out of 10, the person with a hip fracture is a woman. And the reason why is that testosterone optimizes bone strength. Right. 
So with women, they don't have as much testosterone and they're less likely to replace it. So that's why men have less fractures than women do. Mm -hmm. So for sure, as we get older, women will have less osteoporosis. And most women die from hip fractures and the complications of that than breast cancer. But everyone's worried about like breast cancer, you know? So I tell people, Think about the things that you can do to, to optimize your wellness and your health. So taking hormones that are natural, that are not dangerous, can not only help you with just healthy function, but just optimizing the things that you want to do, like go out and play yeah. and have sex and, and all those things. I love, I love talking yes. to you and, and you're just such a bright light and I know we can talk for hours. Next mm -hmm. time, let's bring some wine yes. and do that. Yes. But um, what I really appreciate is that you sharing this important information because I know you mm -hmm. had some struggles and you want to share this information so women have it and they don't have to struggle. Right. If people want to get a hold of you, I know you're all over Google, yeah. Dr. Melinda Silva, very yes. easy, but how can they get a hold of you? Yes, so you can call 619-761-1574. But if you never forget my name, you'll always remember my website. It's just drdrmelindasilva.com. And then you can contact us there, and we'll, my staff is really friendly and nice, and they'll get back with you. And I hope to see you in the office. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, here's to all of us just never getting old and staying young forever, right? Because... You know, it's all a mindset. All a mindset. Yes, and you got it going on, girl. You look beautiful. <laughs> thank you. So I'm very happy to, to be here, and thank you so much for having me. Of course. All right. Goodbye.